I'm gonna show you how to make your phone and your vehicle become one so you can be the master of your machine. Stay tuned. My name is Jeremiah, and for those who don't know me, I am a professional sales consultant, technology expert, and safety advocate for Chevrolet Buick GMC. And if you want access to all the new GM vehicles, detailed descriptions on how to use the in-vehicle technology, or any other information that you could use to help you make an informed decision on your next vehicle, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to have access to all my latest content. And today is a beautiful day. The grass is green, the sun is shining, you can hear the voices of children playing off in the distance. I cannot think of a better day to shoot a video from the inside of an all new 2020 Chevy Blazer. All right, so today we're going to be covering one of the most asked about features with a new infotainment system, and that is Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. If you haven't heard, these are two features added to most of the new GM vehicles that allow you to integrate your cell phone into your infotainment system. This allows your vehicle to perform the same tasks as your phone, such as make phone calls, play music, or navigate from your vehicle. This is important so you can keep your hands on the wheel, eyes on the road, never have to worry about getting a ticket or risking your life just to answer a text message while driving. I'm going to focus specifically on Android Auto since it's clearly the superior operating system. If you don't believe me, take a look at this tweet from our president, Donald Trump. It reads, Sorry, losers and haters, but Android is one of the highest, and you all know it. Please don't feel stupid or insecure. It's not your fault Apple sucks. Is a total fabrication. Okay, maybe I changed some words around, but he did send it from an Android device. That counts for something, right? Wrong. That is absolutely wrong. wrong. Regardless of your preference between Apple and Android, the process for the two are gonna be relatively the same. It's gonna have a lot of the same functionality. Um, they're gonna be able to perform a lot of the same purposes. The only difference is gonna be appearance on what they look like. Uh, so the first things first, what you have to do whether you have Apple or Android is you have to download the app to your device. Uh, in order to do that, let me go ahead and show you how to do that on my device here. You have to first touch the Google Play Store, up here in the search bar up top, type in Android Auto, and it's gonna be the one with the little blue triangle right there. Just tap on it, and then you'll see right here where it says open, it'll say install for you if you've never installed it, and then once it's fully installed, you're good to go from there. All right, and then for the next step, what you're gonna need is a USB cable, so you can plug your phone into your vehicle. Uh, so all you have to do is just plug this in, and plug the other end to your USB port down at the bottom. And you're gonna get a couple of notifications. This one right here is to say it's a third party apps and services, blah, 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 yada, yada. It's basically just saying that um, by accepting to continue, you understand that you're using third party services, which is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. It's a searching for phone. You're gonna get a blue me a message on your phone as well. Just go ahead and click continue. Just a sec. Uh, Google Assistant, so let's go ahead and uh, go through all that, click continue. Oh, and that's going to, if you have any music playing on your phone before, it's going to play it on your radio right away. Uh, so that's this is going to be your main home screen right here. Right now you can see the navigation. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go over a couple of different buttons down here. Uh, this, of course, is your settings button. It uh, gives you access to the different settings tabs. Right now we're in navigation, so it gives us access to our settings and navigation. Uh, this right here is for your music. If you click on it, it'll show your Google Play music. It'll show uh, some music playing for you. Um, if you want to switch, we'll go back here. Uh, you can do music for driving, recent activity, playlists, podcasts, uh, random stuff along those lines. Here is a short example from Mac Rumors showing what the new Apple CarPlay interface looks like compared to Android Auto.
All right, so this is going to be your home screen right here. It's going to be laid out very similar to what your phone is, and all your apps that are Android Auto or Apple CarPlay compatible will show on this screen here. Uh, for instance, you have Google Maps, Google Play Music, YouTube Music, your phone, uh, Calendar News, Pandora, uh, and you can scroll down and see more apps, so on and so forth. One of the things you're going to notice is this little circle icon here under certain apps. That's a notification or, or, and or a task icon or whatever you want to refer to it as. Uh, so let's just go ahead and pl uh, press one and show you what it does. Right now in Robinson, it's 41 and cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 43 and a low of 36. So whenever you press on one of those uh, task icons, it's going to... The vehicle is going to tell you uh, what kind of notifications you have if you're on the calendar, uh, what kind of news updates you have if you're on the news. Right there, we click the weather app, so it told us all about the weather in our current location, which is Robinson, Illinois. And it, I mean, it does all kinds of features, so it's nice to just play around with all the buttons and kind of see what you like, what you don't like, and then you can change the settings according to how you like it. Um, so let's go ahead and just touch on one here. Let's go to Google Play Music. So right here on the Google Play Music app, it shows you different options, music for driving. You can click on it, and it'll load up some different playlists uh, that are good for driving, that they see are good for driving at least. Um, if you go back here, you can do recent activity, playlists, podcasts, uh, various things like that. Um, you can also do everything by voice functionality. So right now, if we want to go ahead and go to this button here, OK, Google, play me some music. Playing some music on Google Play Music. So right there, I just told Google to play me some music, and then it just loaded up a random music PlayStation. Um, you can say specific songs. Uh, say so. I'll go. Okay, Google. Play one thing right by Marshmello and Kane Brown. One thing right by Marshmello. Sure. Playing on YouTube Music. So there it shows this very specific song and um, you can do any song you want to as long as you have access to YouTube Music or Google Play Music. Um, if you don't have a subscription to these services, um, it'll tell you um, that you do not have a subscription or this song requires a special subscription and it said it'll say play something along the same lines. But it will play songs for you, music for you just by touching your voice. Um, you can do the same thing with navigation. So if I say, hey, Google, navigate to Silverthorne Chevrolet in Robinson, Illinois. Sure, Silverthorne Chevrolet, Inc. So it'll give you the address and turn location. West Locust Lane toward North Howard Street, then turn right onto North Howard Street. <laughs> It'll give you the location and give you uh, audible directions as well as notifications on how to get to the location that you're at. Uh, for us, it's not very far because I'm currently on the lot, so it's actually telling me to circle around the lot, but that's okay. Uh, if you want news updates so, or up-to-date information, you can also ask it that. So, for instance, hey Google, what was the score of the Patriots and Titans game? The Patriots lost 20 to 13 on January 4th against the Titans. Which I already knew that, but I love to hear it over and over and over again. It's pretty fantastic. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, better luck next time, buddy. Anyway, let's move on. So to exit the screen, if you just press the little white button down there, that is your home button. It brings you back to this main page, but you don't have to worry about losing your navigation because uh, it does stay at the bottom of your screen. Um, you also will receive audible alerts letting you know when you need to turn uh, uh, or merge or whatever directions you need. That way you don't miss your exit on the highway or wherever you're traveling to. But anyway, you can do all these actions and all these functionalities by your voice, or you can do it by the touch of a button. Um, if you click this blue button up here, it accesses your phone. So from here, you can see your favorite contacts, call history, uh, your other contacts. You can dial a number, or you can access your voicemail. Once again, you can do all this by voice. Um, you also see down here a little notification bell. This notification bell has a little red circle behind it to let you know that you have a notification. This will display any kind of tasks from your calendar, text me unanswered text messages, missed calls, so on and so forth. If you just click this notification here, 
it'll light up one of your a recent notifications. It looks like I got a miss uh, a missed text here from Cole Connolly. Um, he's a close friend of mine. He's got a video that he does uh, siege videos and other gaming videos called Connolly Plays. Um, if you're into that kind of thing, definitely check him out. But anyway. If you click this play button, it'll actually read the text message to you, or you can say, hey Google. Hey Google, read my text message. You have one message. Cole Connolly says, hey, do you want to grab some lunch? Do you want to reply? Yes. What's the message? Let's go grab some tacos later. Got it. Here's your message. Let's go grab some tacos. Later. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Sending message. And that's all there is to it to send a text message from your voice without having to look at your phone. The, vo the vehicle will read it all to you so you don't have to take your hands on off the steering wheel, put it on your phone, look down, and potentially cause a wreck. Uh, so it's great for safety, and it's also just a great way to stay in touch. Uh, but anyway, we'll go ahead and clear these notifications, and right now we have back to this main screen here. But that's all I have for you guys today. I know I'm just touching the surface of what you can do with these amazing apps, uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Basically, anything you can do with your phone, as long as it is a compatible app with Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, you can do with this system. And you can all do it with the sound of your voice so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel or eyes off the road. That's really what I want you to take away from this. This is a a great way to keep yourself integrated and stay connected without sacrificing safety. Um, but if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave a comment down in the comment section below, or you can give me a phone call at Silverthorn Chevrolet. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. Um, also, feel free to check out some of my other content. I go over all the other functions of the infotainment system in detail. Uh, that way, it'll help you master your vehicle so you can be best informed and get the most out of your new vehicle i thank you so much for your time thank you so much for your support and don't forget to drive safe out there i hope you found this video helpful and if you want to see more like it click on the link over here for more helpful tips tutorials and vehicle demonstrations if you have any questions or if there's anything you want featured in my next video go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get access to all my latest videos on the GM products. Thank you so much for your support and drive safe out there.